All right, it's time to find out if spot welding with a lead acid or a lipo, which one is better. Um, I haven't actually had a lead acid floating around to test, and I've always had no problems with my lipo. But I have a good lead acid here, and so we can do some testing. And I bought these adapters so I can bolt on, um, you know, I can bolt on some 10 gauge leads and we can power the spot welders. So let's set up the spot welder and do a, some testing with this and some testing with this and we'll see which one is better or if it makes any difference at all. I mean, the reality is they both can deliver hundreds of amps. So we might be limited by what the spot welder and the cabling can deliver and it might make no difference whether you're using this or using this. So we'll see. Okay. Let's begin. I'm going to use my LiPo first just because it was already hooked up. Um, I ha I'm, I'm using that new spot welder I just did a review on. I'm not completely comfortable with it yet because I don't understand the settings. But I have put in um, power 15 with a delay of 15 on all three segments. Um, and I, what I think it is, is I think it's a triple pulse. The description lists it as a triple pulse welder, meaning it fires three times. And that's what I think each one of the settings are for, three firings. Don't know why you would want different settings for each pulse, but it doesn't matter. We're going we're gonna to compare equally between the lead acid and the LiPo. So let's begin. 15, 15, 15. This will be the LiPo. Everything's hooked up. Let's begin. Yeah, this thing is just so quick with its uh, pulse. Okay, good spot welds. I really do need to clean the needle. It's uh, a bit corroded. Let me clean the needle before we continue. Okay, to be fair, I'm gonna do a couple more spot welds with clean needles. They are good spot welds, not particularly deep, but I think they're actually about right. I mean, again, I have this thing turned down to 15% power, so that's pretty low. Um, but uh, I'm, you know, again, these are probably very good spot welds. Let me try lift it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's tearing. It's tearing. Okay, so... The LiPo spot welding is very good. This is right on. This is probably a very good mild setting, 15, 15, 15. Um, it welds through this 0.15 just fine without probably being overdone. Um, the only thing you got to be careful of is you got to put the needles on really quickly because this thing fires instantly and you got to have good contact when it fires. But besides that, very happy. Okay, let's plug up the lead acid, see if it's any different. Okay, I've hooked up the lead acid. Unfortunately, the legs are actually too small to fit over this, so I've just um, squished them in the washers. Hopefully that provides a good connection and we'll do some spot welding and we'll see. All right, let's put a piece of tin, a piece of nickel for the lead acid. Uh, make sure the settings are still, yep, the settings are still the same. All right, let's see how a lead acid uh, spot welds. Hopefully it's, just the same. Um, I'm going to say lead acid. Oh my God, you guys didn't see any of that. I am sorry. Um, lead acid welds harder. These are some serious spot welds with the settings all being exactly the same. And these needles got hot while spot welding. Doing these six spot welds, the needle got hotter, meaning there is some serious current flowing through, flowing through here. Let me pull this back. I'll re I'll show you the spot weld. I'll I'll zoom in on a, some spot welding with the lead acid in a second. 
Okay. That is... That is legitimate spot welds. Interesting. Okay, so I mean the, the lead acid is hitting harder. No question. Um, now, it's not as convenient as, as my LiPo. And I can probably turn up the LiPo to, to get an equivalent spot weld. But that lead acid is hitting hard. The issue is... Man, that the, the needle got warm. Or I mean, I only did six spot welds. So, what does that mean? Long. What does that mean in the long run? Let's let's show you this thing spot welding, so you can actually see. Okay, make sure you guys are zoomed in and the camera is actually watching. Okay. Well. Okay, that was a bad one. Don't. Don't use that as an example. I didn't have the needles down quick enough. Let's do another one over here. You can see, you can see how, how hard that is spot welding. I mean, that is a serious spot weld. Hmm. I've got to make a decision if I'm going to spot weld in the future with lead acid but I have to say this needle is already I mean this needle's almost a couple more spot welds it would be too hot to hold so what does that mean for long time spot welding I mean this just might be just too much current flowing hmm 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 okay so what I am going to do is I am going to do, go switch back to the lipo turn it up a bit and see if I can match the spot welds turned up a little bit or if there is just so much more potential in the lead acid that the lipo is always just kind of going to be behind. Again, I've spot welded many e-bikes with the, with the lipo. There is nothing wrong with using a lipo. But I am impressed. I mean, that lead acid delivers some hit. Okay, I have turned the pulse up to 25 from 15 on this for each one of the three pulses. We're hooked back up to the LiPo. Let's see how this spot welds. Okay. It is spot welding every bit as good as that lead acid and um, the needles are also getting hot, equally hot. And you can see, if you look carefully, you can see the little bit of a burn ring around that lead spot weld, and you can see the equivalent burn ring around the um, the lipo. So these are now welding at the same level. Um, but I had to turn this. I had to turn the spot welder up for the lipo. So the lipo can do it. Um, it seems like the lead acid has more potential and delivers the, delivers it easier than the lipo does, but the lipo can get there. Now, and again, we might be limiting the lipo because it's going through an XT60 to, uh, you know, we're going through about three connections here before we, we come into the spot welder versus the lead acid when it was right here, didn't have all of this limitation. So maybe we're limited by you know, the connections on the LiPo, which is slowing it down a little bit. But the good news is that turning this up from 15% to 25%, um, more than made up for the, the, that fact. And, and I have to say, 25, 25% on the spot welder is almost too much. We're almost at the point where we're burning through. So probably say, tw but 15, I think is a bit light. I think 20% on a good LiPo is the, is, is the, uh, is the magic number for 0.15. Um, and uh, lead acid, I mean, it was happy at that 15%, but we can get there. The reality is, I think, uh, there's enough battery in the LiPo, enough battery in the lead acid. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think there's 
basically use whatever you have. If you have a, a decent lead acid floating around, don't bother buying a lipo. If you have a good lipo lying around, don't worry about getting a lead acid. There's, they're, they're good enough. I mean, these are both excellent equivalent welds, no question about it. So, yeah, I think we're, uh, I think both are excellent sources of energy.